Hello there. Welcome to my views and news. Welcome to this live chat session. Uh, can you hear me, viewers? Thank you for responding with yes. Elim Gizao is the first one who commented today. He is a member as well. Warm welcome to you, Elim Gizao, Irmiya Sabdisa, Michael Kidane, Simon Tisfai, Demisio, Kibrit, Ruth Matters, uh, Muhammad Makashao, and A, uh, and several others have joined. Warm welcome to all of you. Thank you for becoming uh, part of this live chat session. Tisfaldat, General Komsa. Nigash Galata, uh, Abdullahi Jama, uh, all have joined. SM says hi, Sajid Ji. Masgan joined too. Galmu joined as well. Welcome, Galmu. I am on my mobile, so sometimes on mobile I miss uh, notifications, uh, miss names of people, miss messages to questions as well. Uh, Natios, the Makate, A, Samuel Falek, A made it as well. Seb Ho joined too, says Hal Kasa. Irmias M joined. Irmias is a member. Welcome, Irmias. Free Society says, Hi, Mr. Sajid. How are you, Free Society? Two new stories in this uh, live chat for you. Firstly, I think. Uh, Somalia's President Hassan Sheikh Kidus uh, Isaias joined as well. Welcome, Kidus. I think Hassan Sheikh has committed a blunder. Yusuf Isay says, Hi, Sajid. What did Hassan Sheikh say? Uh, is it a blunder or is it? Uh, a deliberate plan, uh, Asad Ibrahim joined as well, or is it uh, an official policy of Somalia's government when it comes to Ethiopia, Somali land MOU? Hassan Sheikh made some very interesting remarks in Italy. What did he say? I want to talk about that. Ilyas, Likisa, Sigai, Hele, Asad Ibrahim all join. Secondly, uh, Mesfin Kebrel says hi, Sajid hi, Mesfin. Uh, three to four hours ago, Sarah did a video about Gaidu and their Gaichu. Gaidu is top Amhara politician and she said that uh, rumors were being spread that uh, Tikim Tafira joined to Dereje McKinnon as well. I have an update for you about uh, Gadu and Nargachu. Yamaskan is asking about uh, Teddy Fan. He's asking about Mooney Mooney. Teddy Fan joined as well. A Shato to 120 ml joined as well. Well, let me inform you about uh, Muni Muni. Muni Muni contacted me yesterday. He is fine. Abshir Muhammad, welcome. Muni Muni, uh, Evet Tedros, welcome. Muni Muni is going to check out from the facility where he was on Tuesday, but he'll be away uh, from electronic devices for some time. He won't be using his mobile, etc. Overall, he's uh, is facing some issues related to the medication which is using. Overall, he was in good spirits. Ethiola, welcome. Beline Damake, welcome. Uh, so next week we'll see him. He'll be back hopefully uh, after a week, maybe after two weeks. Uh, but he he said, Sajid, uh, send my love and regards to all the viewers. Share my love with all the viewers. He is watching, maybe, uh, or he knows what we discuss. Uh, 
So these are the two new stories for you. Ming Han joined after some time. Ming Han, how are you? I remember you were asking questions a few days ago about delivery of weapons to Somalia. Do we have any update? We could not confirm any large scale weapon deliveries to Somalia. Uh, but Somalia is set to receive uh, such weapon shipments. Why? Because Somalia is not under any arms embargo now. Uh, it remained under arms embargo for decades. Uh, now Somalia is allowed to raise military. Obviously, it will need weapons too for its military. So it will buy weapons. But uh, several videos which were being shared in the social media showing delivery of weapons to Somalia were either fake or they were not related to Somalia. Samuel Falek is saying quick recovery for our brother Muni Muni. Let me start with yours. Can I start? Let me start with the comments made by Somalia's president. Jean says, salute, Sajid. Ming Han is talking about some aircraft delivery to Somalia. Uh, I think we should wait for verification, wait for confirmation, I think. Soviet attack helicopters, maybe, Ming Han is saying. It's John, not Jian, says uh, John. Okay. Okay, viewers. Uh, uh, we know that in Italy, Italy Africa summit was held. Entire African leadership from the Horn of Africa was there. Hassan Sheikh was there. Yim Abi was there too. Erat in President Sasevoki was there as well. David Stefano says, You bad boy, be careful for your life. Why are you threatening me, David? What happened? Uh, I've been receiving these threats for years, by the way. Uh, I received some very serious threats, by the way, online. But uh, threats could not stop me from doing what I'm doing now. Ogdugi joined as well. Welcome, Ogdugi. So in Italy, Italy-Africa summit was held. And we saw that on the sidelines of, uh, thank you, Simon, on the sidelines of this summit, meetings were held. Mulki Zorio says, Sadid is Abi propagandist. And you must be from Somalia. Some Somalis believe I am supporter of Abi, but uh, Abi supporters say I am working against Ethiopia. What should I do? There, some meetings were held. Uh, thank you, Satellite View in Italy. And interviews were also given. Hassan Sheikh was interviewed there. And he talked about uh, Ethiopia, Somali land, MOU. Wherever he goes, peace and love, welcome a member. Uh, welcome, peace and love. Thank you for joining. There, Hassan Sheikh compared Russian attack on Ukraine and Ethiopian MOU with Somaliland. He drew parallels. He said that, uh, like Russia is annexing Ukrainian territories, Lugansk, Donetsk. His pronunciation was not correct of those uh, areas. I have covered that war a little, so I know Lugansk, Donetsk is the correct pronunciation. But his pronunciation was not correct. He said that uh, as Russia is annexing Ukrainian territories, uh, same is happening here that Ethiopia wants to annex Somali territories. First allegation. Not allegation, 
but uh, rather he do parallels secondly more importantly he talked about uh, some powers which are behind ethiopia he said ethiopia does not have the capacity to build a port to build a naval base there are some forces behind ethiopia which are uh, fueling this conflict what was he talking about and when he talked about uh, russian attack on ukraine immediately after that he talked about uh, some powers behind ethiopia it means he linked ethiopia oh, somali land mou with the russian desire to have a naval base in red sea we know views that russia has long been interested in having a naval base in this area and the us stopping russia if you remember russia signed a deal with the sudan to have a naval base red sea naval base americans intervened that deal could never materialize uh russia is not in a position to have uh, a naval base in somalia because americans are here in somalia americans uh, are part of the war against al shabab they're leading the war against al shabab then somali land as well russia has no possibility of having a naval base there too russia has been interested in having a naval base in eritrea masawa maybe uh, and last uh, year uh, we saw that russian foreign minister when he visited eritrea he landed in masawa so russia has been interested in having a naval base in a red sea country hasan sheikh basically implied that through ethiopia Russia wants to have access to the sea it wants to have establish it, it wants to establish a naval base in somalia i see this statement of hasan sheikh as a blunder a diplomatic blunder why i think somalia needs allies at this crucial time when ethiopia and somali land are showing their resolve showing saying that they won't withdraw from the mou they'll implement the mou somalia needs as many allies as it can get but if somalia is accusing russia if somalia is drawing parallels between russia ukraine war and ethiopia somali land mou it means that somalia is losing an ally which is russia or you can say somalia is forcing russia to take a pro ethiopia position there was no need for uh, hassan sheikh to draw parallels there was no need for hassan sheikh to imply that uh, russia is behind ethiopia and russia wants to gain access to the red sea through ethiopia and if you ask me i don't think that uh, russia is fueling this conflict between ethiopia and somalia russia could be supportive of this amu could be supportive because we heard from uh ethiopian ambassador to russia not russian ambassador to ethiopia ethiopian ambassador to russia who said that russia was supportive of ethiopia somali land mou i have not seen so far a statement from russia officially backing the ethiopia somali land mou that is why i personally think that hassan sheikh should have been careful he shouldn't have 
involved Russia. Uh, he should have. Uh, uh he should have been very careful this is a diplomatic blunder it will force russia to take pro ethiopia position i believe yes uh why the ofla why the Cambodia are not here uh, maybe they'll join once uh muni muni is back mulki says russia already involved mulki what type of involvement have have you seen from Russia? How is Russia involved? I mean, uh, shouldn't it be uh, if there is Russian involvement? How direct? How significant is it? Everyone knows that the main country behind the MOU is the UAE, United Arab Emirates. And I have not seen any strong statements from Somalia against MOU so far, against UAE so far. Have you seen that? Do you see Russian involvement more important than that of the UAE? No statement from Hassan Sheikh condemning UAE's involvement. But Hassan Sheikh is uh, implying that Russia is behind the deal. Isn't it? An attempt by Hassan Sheikh to make Americans happy. Uh, by making Americans happy, by appeasing Americans, Hassan Sheikh is losing Russians. He need he he needs to have this ability to create a balance between his relations with the U.S. and uh, Russia. By the way, can Hassan Sheikh trust Americans? Tell me one thing, those who support Somalia, can Hassan Sheikh trust Americans when it comes to Ethiopia, Somali, land, MOU? Has America given any guarantee, any assurance to the to Hassan Sheikh government that uh, Americans will always stand with Somalia? You never know about America. Maybe they'll change sides. Maybe they'll uh, stay neutral. Maybe they won't uh, put pressure upon Ethiopia. So then which options will Hassan Sheikh have if Americans uh, keep a low key and uh, Ethiopia, Somali land and MOU is implemented? That is why I think Hassan Sheikh should have been careful. He made a mistake. <coughs> Muhammad Abdullah says, President of Somalia knows what he is doing. Okay, I'm not saying that he does not know what he is doing, but we have uh, we are analyzing his policy, which we have Bilal joined to Bilal is a member. Welcome, Bilal. Uh, members are recognized by special badges allotted to them. Ebenezer Gobaze joined as well. If you want to be a member, please click the link given in description section. Uh, this link is given in community section as well. Click the link. It will take you to the page, which is membership page. Uh, I think uh, we Somalis are allied to America, Raged Dannan says. Historically, I think Russians supported Somalia as well. Decades ago, when West was not supportive of uh, Somalia, it was Russia which supported Somalia. And uh, by the way, uh, countries should learn how to create balance in their relations. Uh, countries, when they become part of the global tussle between US and Russia, they lose the leverage which they have and their foreign policy is compromised. I think uh, uh, world-class leaders are those who know how to create balance when it comes to forming relations with China, Russia, America uh, at the same time. 
and uh, by the way uh, when hassan sheikh government started diplomatic efforts uh, to put pressure upon ethiopia his start was very impressive uh, we saw statements from arab countries from his allies uh, egypt spoke as well arably to africa union uh, then UN Security Council held a meeting, and UN Security Council referred the matter to IGAD and African Union, which was a diplomatic blow, diplomatic setback. Mulki uh, saying, "By the way, you are a Pakistani. Why are you busy with Somalia? Why shouldn't I be busy with Somalia? When I cover Ethiopia, Ethiopia people say, 'Sir, you just are preoccupied with.'" Ethiopia. Now, when I'm covering just uh, one development, and that is about Ethiopia, Somalia tension, people say you are obsessed with Somalia. You are Pakistani. You have no right to cover Somalia. Why? Thank you, conquer the world for this contribution for buying this live chat. I have every right. Just like you have every right to be here uh, to comment, uh, uh, to express your views. And by the way, no one questions uh, CNN, BBC, Al Jazeera. They cover entire world, by the way, and uh, they have their agendas as well. They try to manipulate public opinion too, and sometimes their reporting is not fair. No one questions them. Why do some people question me? Uh, while I have no agenda, I try to. Cover this region in a very impartial manner, taking you on board as well, taking your questions, taking your uh, opinions on board as well. Uh, I think uh, those who criticize, they should uh, show how horn of Africa should be covered. If I am making mistakes, they they should lead by example. They they should. Also, be they should report about the Horn of Africa in a better and more impressive manner, so that I can learn from them. Commenting is something, but reporting is something else. So, uh, first your story was about uh, Ethiopia Somalia issue. Hassan Sheikh made a blunder. Maybe he'll try to correct it. I think he'll try to correct it. Again, uh, someone is saying UN hasn't referred the matter to IGAD and Africa Union. But according to my information, the matter has been referred back to uh, IGAD and Africa Union. No joint statement from UN Security Council. No resolution. Uh, it means that the matter has been referred to IGAD and African Union. And that is why Somalia is silent. Uh, Ethiopia played its cards well, I think. Ethiopia wrote a letter to IGAD before UN Security Council meeting, saying it was ready to join IGAD's meeting. And that is why uh, I think UN Security Council referred the matter to IGAD and African Union. Mohammed Abdullah says there is fire everywhere in Ethiopia. Do you know what is happening in Ethiopia? Mohammed Farah says keep up the good work. I am covering Ethiopia, man. Uh, and if you watch my videos, I'm covering each and every development which is happening in Ethiopia, security related, all the issues, internal, external as well. But there are issues in Somalia as well. I don't cover Somalia. I don't have time for that. There are more issues in Somalia, more challenges for Somalia than there are for Ethiopia, I think. I will, let's speak a little about the second new story. Thank you, Fitzam. I'm recovering. 
hope you will get full recovery soon uh, i'll get full recovery after my surgery because the surgery is planned maybe after 2 weeks uh after 2 weeks i think surgery will be performed and then obviously recovery will start maybe it will take uh, more than a week so far i am preparing for surgery <clears throat> now let me talk about uh, gaidu and the gaichu viewers can i speak viewers magnetism says it's your views and news no magnetism uh, i think uh, for me people's comments matter a lot so that is why we are here talking to each other sharing our view with each other your feedback matters a lot for me i make corrections i take you on board i learn from you you give me information i share my understanding of situation in the horn of africa with you you people share your views too you don't know magnetism that there are dozens of people who i talk to on daily basis on twitter on gmail on my personal cell Uh, these are the people i've been in touch with for years so it's a joint effort this this jafar says why don't you stream on rumble oh, i don't know how to do it uh, simultaneously on rumble and youtube i can i i, I can't do it separately there i don't have time for that so it's basically a joint effort my views and news is not sajid my views and news is sajid and viewers now uh welcome nick to the channel welcome nick where is nick gadu andar gacho uh sara did a video 4 hours ago and she told you about rumors she said she said rumors were being spread that gadu andar gacho had fled uh, ethiopia now it seems that the rumors have been confirmed and uh, gaidu and the gaichu has fled ethiopia how did he flee ethiopia by the way did he cross the land border or did he fly from an airport uh, gaidu and the gaichu uh, is he true representative of amhara people amhara fano fighters we don't know but the man worked in some top positions he is an he was an ally of ethiopian pmr he worked as amhara regions president he worked as minister of foreign affairs uh misrak says why are you silent about brigade nham the split Mr. Ak, could you contact me by email? Uh, yes, I have received some information about this split, but uh, could you help me understand this split by contacting me on um, Sajid six seven two triple zero S A J I D six seven two triple zero gmail dot com. Then we'll talk about that. So, Gaidu. worked in some top positions when pmrb came to power obviously he was an ally of the prime minister he uh, was a top prosperity party leader it was last year when uh i can see that hundreds are still there uh let me continue about what i was talking about 
Gaidu under Gaichu, the prosperity party top leader, his departure from Ethiopia has been confirmed now to some extent, though no official word. Gaidu is the former Amhara region's president, former Minister of State of Foreign Affairs. I was saying that it was uh, more than a year ago when the MRB sidelined Gaidu under Gaichu and Johannes Brialio. Why? Because the two were seen as supportive of hardliner Amhara groups like Fano fighters. It was in 2022 that uh, Ethiopian government tried to disband Fano groups. Gaidu opposed that disbandment of Fano groups. Johannes also opposed the disbandment of Fano groups. That is why both Gaidu and Johannes were sidelined from Prosperity Party. Johannes was later arrested. He's in prison. Gaidu was not arrested. But in August last year, when state of emergency uh, was imposed, in the Amhara region, Gaidu delivered a speech at House of Representatives and he lashed out at Ethiopian government. He opposed PMR, he opposed the state of emergency. He called for dialogue. And after that, we saw that Gaidu came uh, under attack. Not attack, but rather uh, after his meeting with Mike Hammer, I remember he was arrested by security forces. His house was raided. He was harassed by security forces. Uh, he was taken into custody for some time, maybe I think for a few hours later he was released. And then he was not allowed to speak freely. People said that he was under house arrest. And uh, uh, this week when Ethiopian parliament uh, extended state of emergency, Gadu was nowhere to be seen. Gadu has now fled Ethiopia. Uh, he is in Belgium reportedly. He departed Ethiopia by air. And that is why some immigration officials have been arrested reportedly. Kidane Birhane joined to a member. Welcome Kidane Birhane. And uh, Question is, oh, was he on blacklist? Uh, how is it possible that Gaidu managed to fly? Uh, if he was under some sort of restrictions, uh, it isn't possible that Gaidu oh, oh, flew. Oh, I think he flew Ethiopia, he left Ethiopia because maybe Ethiopian government wanted him to leave. His presence in the country uh, maybe was a bigger challenge for the government than his departure. Infit is far joined to welcome Kistin. That is why I think he was allowed to go, it seems. It seems. Uh, and now, Immigration officials are being arrested just to cover up his departure. That is how I see his departure from Ethiopia. By the way, how many times did uh, General Tafira Mamu try to leave Ethiopia? But he was stopped at airport. Whenever he tried to uh, fly from an airport in Ethiopia, he was stopped. And he wanted to go to Israel for medical treatment. He was not allowed to go. But Gaidu managed to pass through all the restrictions and uh, leave Ethiopia. So maybe government wanted him to leave. Overall, uh, Gaidu has left Ethiopia. And uh, in December, we saw that Siam Mass Minister of Peace uh, took asylum in the U.S. and then he accused PMRB's government from the U.S. Uh, then they are in prison to Sarah mentioned these three names and some viewers said that her pronunciation was not correct. Uh, I think her pronunciation is better than me when I started covering Ethiopia. 
my pronunciation of Ethiopian names was pathetic. So she's better than me. She's just starting. Overall, Gaidu's departure from Ethiopia or fleeing from Ethiopia will lead to more tensions between PM Abe's government and Amhara ruling elite. Uh, Amhara ruling elite, political elite members are uh, distancing themselves from the Prime Minister's government. Uh, just a few days ago, we saw that Damaka McConnell resigned. Now, Gaidu has uh, left Ethiopia. We could see other big names uh, distance themselves from the Prime Minister as well in coming days. Overall, not a good sign for Prosperity Party. PP, Amhara PP is faced with multiple challenges. A free and fair election is held in, in Ethiopia. Uh, will BMRB get any support from the Amhara region? It's not hard to predict, by the way, what will happen. If, if, if free, fair and transparent elections are held in Ethiopia. I think we should end this live chat session. Thank you for joining the live chat. Uh, my apologies because of the internet disruptions. P.O. Boy Trucker joined too. Welcome P.O. Boy Trucker. Mumber is not work with you, as someone is saying. ALG says, uh, my views, we respect you. I respect you all as well. I don't worry about critics, but I want them to understand. I just try to clarify because I want them to understand sometimes they are mistaken, they are misled. That is why I clarify. I clarify my talk as well. It's not that I am guilty. It's because I want people to understand me better. Let's end this live chat, viewers. We talked on two points in this live chat. Firstly, I said Hassan Sheikh's talk about Russia in Italy was a blunder, a diplomatic blunder. Russia, ne uh, Somalia needs allies. Somalia shouldn't alienate Russia. He drew parallels between Russia, Ukraine, war, and Ethiopia, Somalia, and MOU, and he implied that behind Ethiopia there is Russia uh, which wants to have access to the sea and establish a naval base in Somali land. It's a very dangerous narrative adopted by Hassan Sheikh. Obviously he took this position to appease the US but uh, it will definitely push Russians to support Ethiopia. Uh, Hassan Sheikh should correct it I think if he wants a broader international support uh, to counter Ethiopian efforts to gain access to sea. Maybe he'll correct it if, if it's not Somalia's official policy. That we'll see in coming days. Secondly, we talked about Gaidu under Gaichu, top Amhara leader who has fled Ethiopia. Amhara leadership being pushed against the wall by PM Abi's government. That is why they're either resigning or they are fleeing the country or if they're in the country, they're not part of big decision making. So they are at a distance, uh, isolated to some extent, you can say. Thank you for watching. We will see you tomorrow in the next live chat session. Till tomorrow. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, Stay blessed. Take care.